Hey guys, so I haven't filmed a video in I don't know how long and I wanted to film real quick. I have a haul but I also wanted to just sit down and talk real quick because I, I, I love YouTube and I wanted to start my own channel a few months ago and I, I did. I put effort into it and I have some videos up and and then I realized, is this what I really want to do? And I was, I was thinking, I'm doing common videos that everybody's doing. And I don't know. I just didn't know if I was really into it. And over the past few months, I know um, for me, I stopped filming. My excuse, I guess, was because I had exams. So that was, that was my excuse. I just wanted to focus on the last week of school. And then I told myself, after that, I'm gonna get into it. And now it's July. It's almost the middle of July. And I don't know what happened. I never got into it. And I cut my hair and I dyed it. And I've been experimenting. And I think hair is one of those things that you can totally experiment with. and. I've been, guess, I've been trying to find myself in my hair. Um, but I've just been trying to figure out if YouTube is what I want to do. And I was thinking about it. And I watch YouTube videos all the time. But I think when I started, I was thinking, I want to be on YouTube to be on YouTube. And now, after thinking about it for a while, I think I want to be on YouTube to enjoy making videos and to enjoy teaching others my little tricks especially on makeup because it's one of my favorite things in the world and maybe just trying to find my own twist on okay. things is going to be the start and I'm just going to film a haul and I know that's kind of basic but um oh, I I went shopping and I have some stuff not a lot of stuff but I'm I really like it and I'm at the beach right now and I don't have a lot of makeup on and my bags are so I hope you guys understand everything and let's get into it. So the first place I went was Urban. I got a few things, not a lot, but everything I'm completely in love with. So this first thing I tried on and I fell in love with it. It's this little top. It's, it's long. It's not a crop top, but it's not so long. And look at that. Just look at the beading on that. It's so flowy and it's so cute and I I just want to marry this shirt. I love it. Um, it was on the more pricey side. It was $70. Um, but sometimes you gotta make the splurge. I, I loved, loved this. Um, the next thing I got, I tried it on with that shirt and I just fell in love with it. And I feel like this is really on trend right now. This whole, I don't know if I'd call this a kimono, because it's not really one, but I'll just show you. Okay, so it's so big and flowy, and it's got sleeves, and it's just this big, like, oversized, I don't even know how to, like, show you guys properly. It's just big and flowy. This, this purple thing, it, it's purple and cream, it's got a little red in it going back to this because I need to tell you the price this was 70 also which is yes a little pricey but for how good the fabric is like the quality of this and th the amount that I'll probably wear that is ridiculous so I was like it's it's okay and next I got these pants and I've been seeing them a lot lately and they're the big just flowy pants you know and these are like scrunchy on top and I I really liked them. I like the pattern of them. I don't know what the pattern. It kind of reminds me of something like a grandma would have on a pillow. And I don't know if that's weird, but I really like these. And these were 50 and for pants, that's not bad because we wear pants all the time. We're humans, right? I wish we didn't have to wear pants all the time. Am I right? Am I? And the last thing I got were a pair of shoes. And I think these are so 
decided. Like, you're either going to love them or you're going to hate them. And I fell in love with them. And they were on sale, so I was like, yes, I have to. They're these sandals, and they're, they got a little white platform. It's not a big one. And then they just, they're strappy. And it took me forever to find a seven in these. And when I did, I knew I had to get them. They're uh, Dina and Ozzy shoes. And I don't know if those are normally expensive shoes. I don't really, I'm not a shoes girl. On sale, they were 30 and I was so happy. Okay, next I went to this little beach store by us. It's called Driftwood. It's a surf shop. It's really cute. I go in there all the time. And I got these pair of pants. If you guys can't tell, I'm going to get really into these pants this year. They are Billabong. Billabong. I always want to say Billabonga. Billabonga. But it's Billabong. They were $45, and they're just blue. They're stretchy. They're flowy. And I think they're just really pretty. And they're... They are. They remind you of the beach. They remind me of the beach, anyway. And they're kind of like the other pants. They're just really big and flowy. And they send her on the front. And I just think the color is really pretty. I'm a blue kind of girl. And I'm trying to get out of that. But let's be honest. Do we ever fade away from our power color? Last store I went to was Lush. I got six things. One of them's in the fridge. Let's read this and tell you what it was. It's the Castrophic, Castrophic Cosmetic. It is a blueberry face mask. I thought that was awesome. It was $7. And the rest is in this bag. The first thing I got is actually called Fun. And it's this soap. And people are probably going to be really confused when they see this and think, that's not a soap, Emily. It is, if you've ever been to Lush. <sighs> okay. It's soap. And it's called Fun. And it's like, have any, everybody's played with Silly Putty, most likely or play-doh it's like that but it's soap and you can play with it and it's really cool because it's called fun and um half of the profit on these goes to a uh, charity and i think that's so awesome and basically it says how to use open the biodegradable wrapper which is really cool and start having fun make fun into molds and shapes wash your body hair by taking a small piece lathering up from head to toe you can use this in a bubble bath, which I read last night, and I thought that was so cool. It says, use this as a bubble bath by crumbling up a small portion under hot water. When you finish having fun, store it back in the wrapper. So I think that's awesome. And, and I also think it's awesome how Lush does this. A little sticker and tells you, made by someone, and this is made by Brandon. And it tells you when it expires, and I think that's awesome because Lush is naturally made products for you guys that don't know what Lush is. They have a website. Go on it. It's awesome. Um, fun was $7, just so you guys know. Okay, next I got No Drought Shampoo. Dry shampoo, not shampoo. Um, it's just really cute to me. Um, this was made by Drew. Thanks, Drew. Um, it smells like limes to me, like fresh limes, and I think that's awesome. Basically, you open this little guy. It's one of the little, it's like a little, it's like a shampoo bottle, okay? And you just kind of can do whatever. I usually put dry shampoo in my hands, which is really weird since it comes in cans, but I usually like spray some in my hand and like work with it just because I think my hair works better that way. So this is awesome, and it was, I'm looking at their seat. Um, this was seven dollars as well, and I think I got the small size. Did they sell? Them? They sold big sizes, and I think the big ones were like ten dollars. So not a drastic, but like if you can see how much this thing is full, like to the top, and it lasts you a year. And I think I didn't. I was like, I don't need that much. This is one point nine ounces too. So I'm set. The next thing I got was for my hair too. It's a sea salt spray. And this expires in a year too. And this was made by Arnold. 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 Makes me think of a captain. That makes sense because it's sea salt. Okay. No. All right. This I love. I tried it last night and I mean I slept in my hair last night. This hair cannot be put in a ponytail anymore. 
sad, I know. And that was, that was a lot more than I wanted to spend on it. I thought it was $7, but it was $13. And when I realized that, what am I going to do? The last two things I got, one was a face wash, and that's Angels on Bare Skin. And this is what it looks like inside. And I think that's really cool. And I don't know if most people do. This smells like lavender and like breadcrumbs. More expensive. This was $15. But um, it is a four point ounce bottle, which is awesome. And it tells you all the ingredients too, which is awesome if you are allergic to something um I'm not but um I think it's awesome so and then the last thing I got was a solid perfume and guys the magic these things do I got vanillary vanillary and I am such a vanilla girl that um I had to have this and this is what it looks like. So it's like a screw cap. I think that's so cute. But that's what it looks like. And I think it looks like, if it would focus, it looks like vanilla bean ice cream. And I think that's so cute. And the cool thing about these, okay, so the ladies in the store had to tell me, because I was looking at these, and they have like five options. And I was, I was picking them up, I was smelling them, and I just, I couldn't, I, I couldn't smell it. And one of the girls came up to me and said, put it on your skin. The smell changes. And I said, really? So I put a little swatch on my skin and it does. It reacts with your body oils and it changes. And like, this smells pretty good in the bottle, but on my skin, I'm going to put it on. I mean, it definitely takes a minute, but it just, uh, it's something I'm going to throw it in my bag, and I'm always going to have it on me because I'm that girl. I'm always having a, a perfume in my bag because I hate, hate, hate smelling bad. I'll have to get back on. Um, okay, so that's all that I have for today, and I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I do plan on making videos again and getting back into this because I do enjoy it, and I think it's fun, and I think YouTube's a fun thing. And anyway, okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this today. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day, wonderful night, whatever time it is. I hope you're just wonderful. And I will talk to you guys very, very soon. All right. Bye.